let's try that now, shall we? Oh, it's telling me I'm here. I'm here. Well, hey. I wonder if anyone else is here. Just me for a minute, by the looks of it. And sit on the store properly, which will be good. We're a bit before 11 o'clock, 10.52, so that's good. Oh, right, let's watch for some people to join. Morning, Baz. Morning. Oh, I thought Pauline was there. Morning, Sue. Are you okay? Look at my grey, that's terrible. Let's drop the water for a minute, Baz. Are you well, Baz? can see it's going to be one of those mornings. I'm hot already, just waiting for my delivery. Hi, I'm okay. How are you? Oh my God, you must be so excited. So you're waiting for a delivery. Is this, this is a brown box delivery then. Morning, Lisa. Lee McCartan is live now, is she? Can't watch her as live. Not quite sure what she's doing live. Okay, right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we all? Are we all okay? I'm hot and bothered this morning. It's very warm in my lounge. But yeah, Alan and I are drinking tea, which makes a lot of sense really, doesn't it? How was your weekend? How was Sunday? Because obviously I saw you on Saturday. So how was Sunday? Was Sunday good? Did you have a good day? What did you do? Uh, my mum and dad came over, which was really nice. We had um, coffee in the garden, social distanced, because we're still not allowed to hug, because there's more than one of us in each house. So we had socially distanced coffee, which was really nice. Um, they were here for a couple of hours, got, got them out their house for a change. Normally I go over there, but it was nice. Um, weather was good. Um, when I sat and finished the instructions for my class kit, and they're all printed now, so those will be being delivered. Um, and posted tomorrow. Those of you that have ordered extra stuff will be being posted tomorrow after my delivery has been. Those of you that haven't, it will be being posted today. Some of you I'm going to be hand delivering and that will be a complete surprise and it could be completely different to the last lot of people. So it will be completely random. Um, Shirley, unfortunately, morning Catherine, um, morning Ali, that kit even. Um, I'm not driving down to Plymouth to see you, Shirley, unfortunately. I'm not even allowed to come in and use your loo, so that would be a bit of a problem. Um, but there you go. So, yeah, so it was a good weekend. It was quite nice. It's gone too quick as normal. So, um, but yeah, I hope you all had a good one. Um, I've got a lovely card to show you today. How many have we got? Uh, Baz, yeah. So, Baz, is this a big order, a little order? Have you got the peonies in this order, Baz? Um, I'm just watching the comments while we're waiting for you others to join because I'm obviously very early. Morning, Mel. Oh, my God. Lots of love. Lots of love. Mel is the lady that always goes on holiday with me. Morning, lovely. How are you? Um, I know a few of my Cornwall, Cornwall girls um, now tune in and, and watch me com make a complete ass of myself on here. There you go. Sometimes it's easier not to know who's on. Morning, Baz. Uh, morning, Baz. I've done. Morning, Cor uh, Pauline. No, it will be in the next order. Oh, I'm playing with it today. But there you go. We're playing with the peony again today. And I made a frame on Saturday, which will be going on my blog tomorrow. It is stunning. Um, I can't show you because the frame is like 16 inches by 16 inches. It will not fit in this little space. So look out on my blog for that. Morning, Gail. So yeah, there's lots of stuff coming up on the blog, lots of bits that I've been making. I've made lots with this, actually. I'm really loving this. So today I'm going to be casing the catalogue, sort of. Sort of, okay? So how are we for time? I'll give everybody else, morning, Tracy, give everybody else a few more minutes to join. But we're going to be casing the catalogue. So I'm kind of doing... A combination of two of the cards, oh no, perhaps even three of the cards. 
that are on page 83 of the catalogue, just to confuse all of you. I'm going to have to put this up, it's annoying me. So that's the other thing. How many of you saw my curly, Maureen Shirley, Maureen the other Tracy, how many of you saw my cur really curly hair yesterday? So it is as curly today as it was yesterday. Um, this curly girl method is really brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. One day, Mel, my hair might be as curly as yours, darling. Just not yet. So I need to get rid of those greys. Even my mum said to me yesterday, look at your grey hair. Hmm, says she, who hasn't got many, actually. So I obviously take after my dad in that. Um, but having, but following this curly girl method, it means I can't dye my hair. So now I don't know what to do, because I'd really like to get rid of them. Can you see them? They've got, they're there. I'd like to get rid of them, but hey. I suppose it shows I'm ageing and I'm here and I've got here, so I should kind of be a bit proud of them, really, shouldn't I? What do you think? Right, enough waffling. <clears throat> um, I'm going to turn you down and around. Don't get. you're going to feel a bit sick, all right? So we'll go around and down. Let's check I've got you in sight. Of what I want you to be able to see. Not my legs, because that's yuck. Morning, Maureen. Did you get my text message, Maureen? Sent you a message last night, darling. I haven't checked whether you've got it or not. I sat on this stool and I don't know why I'm, I'm... It's not comfy today, actually. But there you go. That might be because things are the way they are today. But there you go. Right, OK. So, the Peony Garden Suite. I really, 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 really love this. Shall we do those photos where we post photos of children, etc., but in these we embrace our grace? I think, Baz, that we ought to do that, actually. We ought to flood Facebook with women who are embracing their greys. Um, I just think that would be really good, actually. I kind of, um, you know... Yeah, they're there. I can't dye them. I'm going to have to live with them, but there you go. Right, so... We are using the Peony Garden Suite. So if you remember last week on Saturday, because it was last week, we did this one um, with the Wink of Stella. And so we did this one. So that was morning, Sharon. So we did that one. So that's really good. So th I liked that one. So today we're kind of doing a combination of um, this one, this one and this one. We're not you. We're using. We're not using the stamps actually today. We are using some of the DSP because I absolutely love it. We are using um, the lace doilies. Lace doilies. We're using some of the ribbon. So we're using those bits. We are of course using the gorgeous sparklies. My packet is going down much much quicker than I want it to. And we are using the dies because on Saturday I promised you that I would show you how to make the flowers. So there is going to be dye. I'm going to do the die cutting on camera. So I'm going to bring my manky big shot up on camera and I am going to show you because it's the quickest way to cut bigger pieces um, instead of just using the little baby blue. So the colours in this are petal pink. Yes, I know Ali Palmer. It's more peach than pink, but they're calling it pink. Grey granite and basic grey. And I've also used a little bit of black for the inside of my peony. Um, and I'm using Mossy Meadow and Granny Apple Green for my leaves. Order more sparklies. I will be. Good morning, Sue. How are you? Sorry, you can't stay. Tracy, you're just driving back to the but I'm really pleased, Tracy, that you got to go over and see your sister as she's on her own and you are part of her bubble and you were able to stay there with her. That's really lovely. It made me cry yesterday to see that you were over there. So I think that's gorgeous. Go careful driving home and catch up later. Oh, cup of tea. Right, morning, Linda. Right, so that's the bits we're going to use. So let's close the catalogue a minute. Don't forget, if you haven't got a catalogue and you would like one, give me a yell. If you'd like to order, give me a yell. There's lots of ways to reach me. So this is our card, okay? What do we think of the card? Are we loving the card? Are we happy? So I've used the DSP and I've sponged it, which they've done, morning Linda, which they've done in the catalogue. It took me a while to work out what they'd done. I've used, the, I've also used, as well as we're using the lovely you, 
um and i've does um i did miles apart but still in my heart i think i'm gonna do love is what makes us family on this one um and we're also using the um oops the punch that comes in a bundle with that as well um this is a really good bundle so if you were thinking of um kidnapping and joining up becoming a demonstrator this is a bundle that you could get for free on top of your um, 130 pounds spend okay so we're using that as well so I've got a three-dimensional flower on it, which you can, you should be able to see if I hold the card like that. Okay, you can see it's got dimension and it's popped up. It's got a bit of sparklies. This die is in the, the, the dies with the kit. We've got our lace doily, we've got our sparkly ribbon. We've got some sparklies on it and a nice sentiment. And I haven't stamped the inside yet, which I ought to do really, so. Love and Stamping Up is what makes us family. It certainly is, Baz. Stamping Up is the family I chose for myself. This is very true. Right, I'm going to pop this to one side and I'm going to tell you what we need, okay? So there are some basic bits that you need to start with. Right, hang on. Oops, 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 oops. I've got some bits cut there. Right, get rid of that bit. Don't need that. Right, so the basic bits that you're going to need to start with is your A4 base. Um, cut at five and seven eighths or 14.9 centimeters. So it's A4 that way, five and seven eighths or 14.9. And then you score it at 14.9 or five and seven eighths. So that gives you a square base, okay? You need a piece of your DSP, and this is the one with the marbling on the back, okay? And that piece of DSP is 14.9 centimeters by, um, by, she says, not having, um, Hang on. It's actually it's five inches by five and seven eight. No, five and seven eighths of an inch by five inches. It is. It's five and seven eighths of an inch wide by five inches high, which is um, twelve point six centimeters for that piece. All right. So fourteen point nine by twelve point six. Let me write that down. I meant to do that earlier. Okay. And then your whisper white piece is five and seven eighths. So again, 14.9 by four. Hang on, and I'll tell you what that is. And that is 10.2, okay? 14.9 by 10.2. And I can put those in the instructions later. Okay, and those are the bits you're gonna need. And then you're just gonna need a little strip that is three quarters of an inch and that's approximately four inches long. So those are the bases, the bits that we need. You'll also need one of these lovely doilies. They're beautiful, really lovely, and they're quite strong. They'd be great for stenciling through, okay? And then you'll need some scrap to do your leaves and your flower. Oh, and I mustn't forget, we need a little bit of the ribbon as well, okay? So it's kind. it looks complicated, but it's kind of easy um now i've done the flower in whisper white do you want the flower left in whisper white or would you like it done in petal pink love what you've done with the square doily making the shape at the top took me a while to realize what you've done there it's literally linda bent over the whisper white before i've but i'll show you how to do that in a minute um do you have envelopes for this size card no baz but i can make an envelope for this size card using my trimmer how about we do that when I finish the card? We'll do that, shall we? It would go in a six by six envelope, okay? Morning, Shirley. This is this morning's card. Right, so let's have a vote. Are we leaving our flower whisper white with the sponging on it? Or would you like a petal pink? Kit says whisper white. Okay, so let's have a vote. Whisper white, thumbs up. Petal pink, hearts. And I'm going to watch to see what happens now. So which bit would you like? Whisper white, thumbs up, petal pink hearts. I'd make it really easy if it was petal pink. I knew you were all going to go whisper white. Oh, yeah, we've got more whisper white than hearts. Okay, right. Okay, right. So I need, I'm going to use that because I need an extra bit. That I can just pop to one side. Right, okay. So those are the bits we need. I'm going to do my die cutting first. So I'm going to pop this to one side. And I'm going to show you what bits you need, okay? There are 17 bits in here. Four of the bits make up your flower. 
looks incredibly complicated, but it's not, okay? So I'm just gonna move that bit over there. I'm gonna bring the big shot up. Okay, bear in mind, mine is old and messy. And, um, not great. Right, so I can see we're in shot now. Um, we're going to do two lots of die cutting because you also need to die cut your frilly edge. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So can I get, I'm not going to get all of those on that bit. So I'm just going to lay all of these on here, these dies. And I'm laying them sideways. Don't need that bit. I will need it in a minute. Oh, let's have a fresh bit of that in a minute. Oh dear. We're Monday morning again, aren't we? Do you remember what happened last Monday? I chucked a cup of tea everywhere. Or was that Thursday? Thursday, wasn't it? Whisper white. Right, okay, so we're just loading this through. Sorry, I was a bit late. You were stamping peacocks and got carried away. That's a forgivable excuse, Shirley. That's okay. Right, so that's what we've done on the Whisper White. So we've got all four of those bits, okay? I'm sorry, because you've got my arm in it. So we've got the four bits of our flower. I'm just going to pop them to one side, okay? So I don't need those bits of the flower anymore. We then need... I'll show you the next bits, because they're quite tiny, and there's a few of them is why I wanted to come on and show you right so let's I'm going to do this this way Hang on, do it that way okay so you've got three leaf outers okay and I'm going to have to run this twice because I need lots of these bits and then you've got three in a minute when I find the other one inners Well, come on, Lee. She put them all up there ever so safely. Do you know what? I've lost these dies so many times this morning. It is unbelievable. Right, so I'm one missing, which is a pain in the what's it? Okay, let's just run those a minute. And I'll find the other little edge bit. I'm not panicking. Not much, anyway. It's here somewhere. Oh, I've... <sighs> right, so that's that bit. Oops. Right, so I'm going to cut those leaves again. Because I want six. Might have to just make do with five at this rate. Or one that's not decorated. But there you go. Right. I'm just going to poke these out. They're quite easy to come out. These bigger ones. Okay, by the looks of it, that's already come out. There it is, stuck to the thing. Right, I'll just do three more of these. One, two, three. And then, we've got one little black centre to do. out the way sorry it was terrible I was talking with my mouth full I said I'm gonna pop those out the way grab that other bit out of there because we need that as well and I slide all of those back into there I need the little black bit right let's show you the little black bit that we need right, I'm gonna pop those bits to one side we'll have to have leaves without um without edging on that one right let's take that bit off right so we've got this tiny little black bit that I've just put down incredibly safely oh, there's the other leaf so I might cut that in a minute as well and I've just put down oh Deary me, right, let's put that on there. Did I slip that back in there? 
that. Yeah, I put it away really safely, just in case I lost it. Okay, right, so I can cut one of those leaves as well. Not much more on the die cutting, I promise you. We've got one more bit to do. Okay. So the next bit that we're going to do... I don't need that. I need that. I much prefer die cutting off camera. But it was not to be today. Okay. Because I needed to show you this bit. So this is the edging strip. Okay. And this is what we're going to use to make this... Um, this on our card okay so i'm just going to pop the big shot to one side for a minute and i'm still going to stand to the side because i'm going to show you how i did it so i've got my trimmer and i've got that piece of cardstock that is um five and seven eighths by four or 14.9 by 10 and i'm now just going to pop a couple of marks using my score blade okay so um, I want to pop a mark at one inch on either side, on the short sides, okay? So I just need a mark there and a mark there. And then if I turn it round, I want a mark at, in the centre of the cardstock, which is two and 15 sixteenths, okay? And I just need a mark there. So my inch marks are here one either side there and I've got a centre mark down there okay right so this die cuts on this very edge all right so that's what we're going to be lining up so I'm going to bring my plate up to show you Turn that over because it's not so manky then. Okay, right, and I want to line these up. So what I want to do is line that cutting edge and that cutting edge up with those two dots, okay? And I am just going to tape that down. Side. Right, I'm just going to whiz that through the big shot. I'm not lifting it back up. I'll do it there. If I can do it there. Right, whoops. Handle of the table. Oh, I need a bigger craft ring. Right, so that's one side gone through. And I'll show you. Right, so, so this is what you've got. One side has gone through, okay? And it's it's got that rid of that bit for you. So now we need to line this up. So if we're very clever, like that. Pop it straight back through. Pop the big shot down on the sofa. It can all stay there. Right, that's good. I've done all my cutting now. That's good, I feel much better about that. So then we can take that off. We don't need that, don't need that, that's rubbish. Bins behind me. So we're left with that shape, okay? So the next things we're gonna do, is gonna do a little bit of stamping and then we've got some sponging to do and put all our, our bits together for our flowers, or our flower, should I say. Let's grab all the bits. So all the white bits. Because I'm going to use the peach bricks in a minute. Okay. So those are the bits we're going to leave, uh, use. All right. So those are all our flower bits. Pop those to one side because I don't want them for a minute. We need to sponge this bit and this bit. Okay. So those are the bits that we need to, to, to um, use our dauber or a sponge on. All right. My lounge gets really hot every day when I'm doing this. Right, let's so pop these bits to one side. So we're going to do everything in petal pink. Open my ink pad. And I'm going to do the doily first because I want to leave it to dry. Now there is a smooth side 
and a shiny side and I did it on the shiny side so I literally was daubing through it okay doesn't have to be particularly even or I just you know kind of like to try and get colour onto it right so I'm going to just pop that to one side oh there's a bit there that I'm not happy with right okay right I'm going to pop that to one side and let it dry for a minute okay the next thing we're going to do is um use our dauber to sponge over this okay now if you were really sat and you had an afternoon where you wanted to just sit this paper and do coloring this piece of paper would be amazing to sit and color 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 even um not um not cuddle color so it would be really nice that would be lovely just to sit and color it so i'm just going to get my door back and i'm starting off the page and i'm just going to start working my color onto it Like that don't forget it's better to start light and add more because if you start dark you can't take it away okay so again in cut my dauber stamp it off start off the page and start blending okay circular moment mo moments motion i'm not putting too much pressure on the dauber because i don't want any streaky lines okay into the center Right, so again, I don't want it so it's like completely all one colour. I want some kind of variables in it. I kind of do want my edges dark. Okay, so that's my edges done because this edge you're not going to see. Okay, so that's our sponging done apart from our flower. Okay, so we've got our flower. Now, I've been watching a few of the American demos um, and a lot of them have double cut this one. Okay, so there's your four basic bits and they've cut an extra one of this one, which I'm going to do on this flower. Okay, and all I've done again is inked up and I've lightly just kind of dragged it and I don't mind if I've got some of the drag marks because that would look like what it does on the petals all right so again I'm just oops dragging the ink up you need to be careful that you don't rip your flower because that would be awful that one I'm going to do slightly darker because it's the real center one okay now this one this is your outer one but this is the back and this is the front so you're not going to see quite a lot of this so I'm just going round the back like that and then I'm going to go round the front like that and then this bit's a bit tricky kind of just want to add a little bit in there okay so that's our sponging done let's pop that away right apart from when we sponge our um sentiment okay so the next bit to do is put our leaves together they're not as complicated as they look okay 
this is the bottom so the the these bits are the tops the roundy bit is the bottom okay so I'm only going to play with five leaves this time right so I'm going to get my glue and these bits fix around there like that okay they come from the bottom so I'm just gonna if my glue works a really good idea at this point in time would be to have your silicone mat and a little blob of glue on your silicone mat and just pull those through it and then afterwards you can wash your silicone mat off but it would get enough glue on them okay so this one again is this one no it's not that one it's that one okay pop that onto there like that they can only go on one, so you're not going to have any problems finding out which one they go on. They only fit on one. And there is definitely a right and a wrong way because there is some embossing on it. Okay, so let's pop that there. Okay. And then the last, last two, I've got glue on my fingers. That's that one. So guys, did you know I've got an Instagram channel? I have and I've been posting. Um, post lots of bits and pieces on there as well. Sometimes it goes on there and then goes on to Facebook. Sometimes it's just on there. Um, so yeah, there's lots of bits on my Instagram channel as well. Don't forget about the Crunchy Crafts on Facebook and also my blog because that's a really good place to find out lots of information. So those are our bits, okay? So I'm going to grab my bone folder and I'm going to kind of just shape the top of these slightly. I don't want to do it too much, all right? So those ones I want that way and slightly kind of want to give it some shape, okay? Again, this one, some shape that way, okay? Then this one, I want to be going the other way. And this one, bear in mind I've cut two the same. And then this one, okay? This one's a bit difficult to shape because it's actually going to end up like that, okay? So this is how you pop it together. Can you see this shape? This is the guide that you follow on everything. So you need your glue dots. Let's get rid of the extra. And your pokey tool or your take a pick. Need a glue dot, okay? And you're gonna to need to pop a glue dot on the back, just there, okay? Just like that. Turn it over and you're going to poke this one through the hole, okay, like that. And it's going to line up like that, okay? So the two bits line up and press together. You can poke another glue dot. That side to keep them together, okay? So that's two bits together. Then you're going to press through that. So you've got two bits at the front and two bits at the back, all right? And again, you're going to layer that one through okay and again it's going to come out and line up on that one i'm just going to pop a glue dot there okay so that's my glue dot to keep it in place okay now i'm going to duplicate this one so so it's going to give me an extra petal okay so I'm going to pull that, make sure I'm doing it correctly. Right. In fact, actually, I'm not going to duplicate it. I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm going to pull that one through. This is the, the littlest one, okay? So we've got number four. And this one is a bit tight going into this gap, but it does go, she says. Right, okay. So again, it's going to come down 
and it's got the shape as well look so you're going to line it up and pop a glue dot okay like that so there's your glue dot so that is your basic shape now to give it dimension you need to add some dimensionals into it um, and I've been using the large ones but it might be easier she says praying she's got some in here large 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 so i need to go to my other stash at some point and grab some out i'll use large but small ones might be easier so take the front off your dimensional if you can get it off okay pick it up on your pokey tool or in your finger now i know i haven't put my center in there yet okay do stick to there please and I'll, this is going right down the back okay because i want to give it dimension i'm going to do a second one Okay, and I want to pop it in there because I want to give this dimension. I want it to be off of the leaf before. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to take one of those off. Okay, and I want to slide it down as far as it will go. So I've got some dimension from the bottom. Okay, because if you start feeding out from the bottom, the, it, the gap gets wider as you go up. Check me out with the scientific knowledge. I'm almost impressing myself. Right. Your stamen is going to go into this bit, okay? So the next one I want to pop out is this one. So I'm going to take the edge off. The gin would take the edge off at this precise moment in time. Right, I'm going to take the edge off, get off. Just see that it's stuck straight back to the bottom. This is where a small one would be much better. And I'm going to pop that down into there and it's just making those stick out. And then you could do the same there. So let's do an edge. Let's see if I can get an edge in that bit. Take that off. Oh, I've got leaves stuck to me. Oh, everything's sticking to me. Right, I'm going to take that off and slide that down into there. And I'm going to do the same the other side. Let's see if I can get that in. Right, okay. So then our flower now has dimension. Okay, so you can just bend your petals out. Give it a little bit of shape. Right, and these ones. Okay, and these ones you can kind of shape and they kind of want to be pinched that way a bit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Right, the last bit we're going to do is stick our stamen in. So we want a glue dot. The reason I've said to do this bit last is because when I've been doing it before, I've put the dimensionals in and then... Um, haven't been able to get the dimensionals in because of the stamen. So this is much easier, she says. Let's pop my glue dot, my stamen, into the centre like that. Okay, so that's your flower. Did everyone, that made me chuckle, did every morning, Jane, can you use the other one you have cut out to show us how to duplicate the duplicate one fits in yeah i can actually i'll show you with that other leaf so that's that's that okay so let's put the card together and then i'll show you how to do the duplicate one so where's my bit of ribbon because i'm going to need that card base that would help wouldn't it oh let's do our little bit of stamping as well first okay so before we do that let's do our bit of stamping i'm going to change my stamp let's have that one okay a block oh no that's a short block it's all being done by touch under the desk so that's not bad long block right 
Okay, so I'm going to get my basic grey. I'll tell you what, let's stamp it to see how straight it is. Oh, that's not bad, actually. It's only a tiny bit of paper, so it can't afford to go too wrong, can it? Right, there we go. Straight down, straight up. Oh, okay. This is why there was two sides to every bit of paper. Can I change these to Tuesday mornings? Right, let's try again, shall we? If it's not straight, it's going on there. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Right. Let's just let that dry a bit. Right. Open our punch. And I'm using this side. So this bit will fit straight into this, the runner. Look. Okay. Push it through. All the way to the back. And I like to turn my punch over to make sure that I can see it. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to take this out. Turn it around. So I'm going to pop it back in. Turn it around, make sure it's gone right to the end and squeeze. Okay, so that's my shape. So the last thing I'm going to do to that is just daub around the edges. Of course, if you haven't got the inks and you're using watercolour pencils and you're doing everything in memento black, then you can still use the watercolour pencils and brush some onto um do on some onto a clear block, take an aqua brush and use it, and you could still go around the edge to get the same effect. Okay, right, so we've got that to one side. So now we can start to put our card together. So the first bit you're going to do is pop your peony paper right at the bottom of your card, okay. So let's pop that on. Like that. Making sure it's lined up. Okay, whoops. There we go. So the next bit we're going to do is, and I'm going to use red tape, is I'm going to put a line of red tape along here. When, I've, when we've got the new stamp and seal, I will be using that, but my tear tape is slightly too wide, but I will be able to use the stamp and seal. So I'm going to put a line of red tape. Let's line that up so it's straight. I'm kind of going to do it there, okay? Wrap that little bit around the back. Okay, now your red tape is going to hold two things in place. It's going to hold your doily and it's going to hold your ribbon. So the first thing we're going to do is take that end off. And I'm going to snip that because I actually want that stuck back on the back. Okay, because I want to work on this front piece. So I just bend that back. So with my doily, okay, making sure I've got the right side up. I'm going to position my doily where I want it and I'm going to stick it onto the red tape, okay? And then I'm going to bend it over the back, turn it over and secure it with, yep, you guessed it, a glue dot, okay? So that's just stuck down with a glue dot, okay? Oh, oh, okay, that's good. That was nearly a rescue job. Right, I'm going to put my ribbon along the front, like that, so it's over the doily, okay? I can take my ends off, okay? And then we can stick this bit To the front of our card, lining it up at the top. There we go. 
Right, <clears throat> then we can add our flower. And I use three dimensionals on the back of my flower. Just gonna add my flower. Okay, let's pop the lid on the glue. Right, when I did my leaves, this is the bottom. So I'm going to shape them and then bend them, okay? Because I want them to have dimension. So shape them and bend them. 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 Okay, so grabbing your glue dots, you can just slide your leaves in. there on its own okay then we're going to add our sentiment more dimensionals Right, now for some, is that straight? That's anything but straight. Right, that's better. Right, now for some sparklies. Oh, oh, let's do pink ones this time. Oh no. Okay, pink ones or opaque ones? Pink sparklies, hearts, opaque ones, thumbs up. So those or those, have we got preference? Pink for those, opaque for those, um, hearts for those, thumbs up for those. What do you think? Okay, right. Yeah, we'll go with what I was going to go with then. Let's have a pink one there. One there. And, oh, oh, one there. Okay, right. So, that's my lovelies. Oops those away in a minute is your card the only other bit i did do to it let me grab make sure i've got the right one it's very disconcerting when you can't see which wing costello is actually the right one and i just Went round it and added little bits of winky winky just around the edges. Look, it's easier when it's together to do this. I got into an awful mess before when it wasn't. All right. And that is your finished card. So we've got two different sentiments on this one. Are we happy bunnies? Are we loving this? Brilliant. Right, so now we want to see how to do the extra thing. Okay, right. Might need my next roll of glue dots at this rate. Right, so again, let's shape the bits, okay? So that's our, I've already got a spare bit cut in the pink, all right? So I'm just going to shape my bits a bit. OK, 
okay. And that one. So you want the first one and the second one. Let's grab the glue dot. Okay, and that one goes through this one as normal, okay? And then lines up at the bottom, just like that. So I'm just gonna pop that glue dot in there, pinch it together, okay? So that is now stuck. I'm then gonna put two of these in together, okay? So we're gonna end up with extra petals at the, at the back. Okay, and extra bits at the front. So two of them are going to go in together. So before I put them in together, I'm going to put dimensional between them because I obviously need them to be have space. So there's a dimensional between them. Okay, and then I'm going to slide those down into that gap. Okay, exactly the same as before. My tongue's out there and I'm going to pop that there. Grab a glue dot and let's secure it there. Okay, so now that is secured. So your last piece then, you've got one, two, three, four, and it's going to split, hang on, and go down. So you've got four bits at the front and that one is still going to slide into there. As I said, it is tight getting that into there. So you're going to slide it into there, bring it down. And let's glue dot it into place, okay? So that's got its five layers. So we've got one at the back, two at the back. Three. Four. So we're going to separate all of those with dimensionals. And then we've got our one, two, three, four, five. And then you would pop your stamen down into there if that was going to be your stamen. Okay. Is that good? Hi, Wendy. Does that show it, Baz? Does that make sense? Are we happy? I hope that makes I hope that all made sense. Brilliant. Okay, that's good. So now you've learned how to do extra petals in your pin. You could, I suppose, do them with all of them if you wanted. It would bulk it up. Um, I don't know how well this would hold on this front one. Um, it might give it strength. I might give it a play. So that's your petal. Your, yeah, and that's two versions of today's card. Okay. Hope you've all enjoyed that. I've enjoyed doing that this morning. And um, I will see you um, on Thursday. So don't forget we're now live Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Mondays and Thursdays are 11 o'clock and Saturdays are 10 a.m. So I will see you on Thursday with another project. I don't know whether it will be Peony or whether it will be something else. I have a feeling it might be birds and branches. OK, so I will see you all on Thursday. Don't forget, if you haven't got a Stamping Up demonstrator and you would like a catalogue, please do get in touch with me and I will send you a catalogue free of charge. If you'd like to place an order um, and, and would like some help doing that, please get in touch with me. I so need to get this. It's beautiful. And um, and yes, so if you need anything for Stamping Up Wise or you are interested in becoming a team member, please get in touch and I'd be happy to chat to you. Right, guys, I will see you all on Thursday. T stay safe, take care and have some fun. Bye.